finally back doing weekly Project Life Spreads after a long break. It feels like forever since I've done a weekly uh, PL spread, but here I am, and this layout is from like August 31st to September 6th, which is insane. But I did skip over this layout because I was waiting for some um, embellishments from Color Cast Designs that I had ordered uh, with my friend Tara. And so to save on shipping, we shipped to her house and then I had to wait to get them. So uh, that's kind of why I had skipped over this layout initially. But because it was back to school week, I went with like a very back to school kind of themed, not overly themed because, you know, I don't really care for that. But there are quite a few kind of like school supply references and that sort of thing. And the colors that I went with were based off of the embellishments from Color Cast Designs. There's a really pretty uh, navy blue. And based on that, I went with, um, I kind of got inspired by a Gossamer blue card that had navy blue, green, and like kind of like a turquoise color. And then I also threw in a little uh, black uh, as well. And so for this card, I trimmed down a 4x6 card because I really liked the navy blue stripe and the label um, at the bottom. So I just trimmed those out, did a little bit of stamping because that's my goal to actually use my stamps. Added this vellum heart from uh, Seven Paper and just did a little bit of journaling. And that's pretty much finished. Um, yeah, and so here are the color cast designs embellishments that I got. I forget what the pack was is called, but anyway, it's all back to school themed uh, stuff. And so in this photo, it's of my husband and my daughter leaving in the morning to go to the day home. And I just thought it was so cute. My husband's carrying his lunch bag and my daughter's backpack. And so I chose the wood veneer with the backpack. And when I embellish, I really like to bring in, like, all the colors that I'm using. So I chose this black doily, um, this navy blue circle label from Studio Calico, and then those um, white labels with the, like, bluish, tealish uh, trim. It's from October Afternoon, and I just put the little backpack wood veneer on top. So it's like a little cluster of circles. And then I stamped the date directly onto the photo because it wasn't going to fit onto the label. And of course, um, the stamping didn't really turn out that well. I think it's my, my, my technique. Stamping error, user error, I guess. But also, like, the Canon selfie prints really slick uh, and glossy, so I think that might have something to do with it, too. But anyway, I was able to fix the stamping, and it was no big deal. And, yeah, this card is from Studio Calico, and so this is, like, where the black comes in. Um, and this wood veneer is from Color Cast Designs, and... <clears throat> They're pretty fragile, and in transport, uh, I'm not sure if it was from transport to Tara or from Tara's house to my house, uh, they got a little broken, but all the pieces were still there, and it worked out, so just adhered those down, and that's all I did to that card, and it's probably one of my favorite cards in the whole layout. Uh, this is a photo of my daughter and I on the first day of school, so I'm all dressed up. I do not look like that every day, trust me. Um, but on the first day of school, I like to make a bit of an effort. So that's me, and I just add another vellum heart and a little journal, journaling tag, and that's it. This card was also from Studio Calico, and I just checked it. It just has, like, lists of school supplies and... I thought about adding something extra, but didn't really know what. So, yeah. And then same with this photo. I didn't really know. I didn't want to overwhelm the spread and add a lot. So, I just added uh, a bit of green uh, stars. And I believe those are also from Color Cast Designs that I bought a while ago. But they might also be from Freckled Fawn. I'm not 100% sure. I used some scrap 
checked oily just to cover up my foot in this photo. I didn't really like how it was showing. So I covered it up with the doily and stamped directly onto the photo. And shocker, it doesn't work very well. So I just used my pen to color it in and it looks just fine. Add some enamel dots to bring in some more color and that photo is done. That photo is, was just of a... Uh, my class, some of the students in my class doing a little bit of group work on the first day. So this is my title card and you can see that I've cut like a chunk out of it and that's because on the previous week's layout I did a bit of a shaker pocket uh, on an angle so I had to account for that and the shaker pocket has black and gold sequins in it so that's kind of why uh, I bring in some gold alphas to this title card and I recently acquired uh, some square and circle punches just on like a Facebook auction group and I got four punches and they're huge like there's this size circle and then like a way bigger circle a square and a large square and I got all four punches for six dollars and I was like so excited so I just brought in some of the papers that I was going to be using on the opposite side of the layout um, onto my title card. Uh, and again, kind of going with the circle circle theme. Uh, used a black vellum heart and some of those um, uh, plants or vines, I don't know what you call them, just from my stash. And then another wood veneer from Color Cast Designs. And that's it. So now we're on the opposite side of the layout and this photo is just of my daughter playing with her tea set and some stuffed animals and um, I set I set up the photo <laughs> like this right like she did have a few stuffed animals around her but I kind of added in a few more and uh, she was she was kind of playing with the cups and things so it was super cute so I did kind of an overhead shot and uh, yeah, just, just kind of wanted to document it. Uh, I don't do a whole lot of journaling about it, but yeah. So I cut down the photo, layer it on this black and white paper from Studio Calico, and use a green doily in behind. And then I use another one of these October afternoon labels just to bring in the blue. And then I want to bring in the same alphas that I used on my title card. And so I just spell out the word T add the date and some journaling and I think I might add a few enamel dots as well. So it's been so long since I've done Project Life that I'm just kinda I'm keeping it relatively simple. I'm not really excited to like go through my entire stash and pick out a ton of embellishments so as you can tell um, I Definitely went with the color cast design, acrylic and wood veneer, the October afternoon labels, and then like a few other small things that just kind of caught my eye in the moment. So for example, this tag, I just knew I wanted something to write on, so I went into my white stash and grabbed this tag, used some black uh, baker's twine, and did another stamp. Uh, it, like I said, it really is my goal to use up my, use my stamps more. So I believe those the captured was from a Studio Calico stamp set and the stars were from a Gossamer Blue stamp set. And then just journal about the snow that I woke up to on uh, September 6th, which was awful, but luckily did not stay. Add this photo is just really simple. Add a vellum heart and an enamel dot, and that is done. And then this is the card that kind of inspired it all, uh, the colors. But I didn't want to leave it as is, so I add the wood veneer piece with the books, and then this other acrylic piece that says details. Um, it is quite a bit of a lighter blue than is seen in the rest of the layout, but I still wanted to use it. And unfortunately, my video cut out, but you really didn't miss anything. This photo is also really simple. Just add a black vellum heart, and then I wanted to use up some of the Zs. So I just do 
Zzz, and leave it as is. I really like how it turned out though. Here's another piece of paper from Studio Calico that I used on the opposite side for my title card. And I really like how the green from the packaging is repeated in the green paper. And I really just could not decide what I wanted to do with this card. So again, I go with the circles and just punch out some of the papers that I had used uh, on the title card and just kind of repeat the, repeat the theme, I guess. Add another label and just do some journaling. Um, at this stage, I had been watching like a ton of videos, uh, of makeup videos on YouTube. And so I finally just like splurged and bought like a ton of makeup uh, to play around with. And so that is what I journaled about. And this is just a journaling card. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Please stay tuned for more. I have to catch up. Thanks so much. Bye.